Good morning. I'm standing beneath one of the most beautiful trees in our neighborhood. I'll show you. These little trees have these, these little pods, these dark little seed pods that are on there. And the leaves on this tree, this particular type of tree, and I think it's a crab apple, change this way every year so that you have the glory, the beauty of the green leaves as well as the yellow leaves. And then way up at the top, you can start to see the red ones. So here, I'm going to give you a perspective. Step away from it. And you can see what I'm talking about. This is extraordinary. On one tree, you have all of the excitement of fall. <laughs> You have the subtle changes, and then you have the vibrant, explosive color. And if the sun were catching this tree right now, oh my gosh, we would not be able to keep talking. So, here we What this tree reminds me of, and what a lot of fall reminds me of, is that we think we know ourselves so well. We get to a point in our life where we have a routine way of thinking and acting, certain ways that we behave that are predictable. And we come to experiences of fall of nature and we begin to wonder, are we completely separated from what's happening in creation? What we see at one time in this beautiful tree, and I've shown you this tree twice now since April, once when it was full blossoms and the others when it was solid green, beautiful. But you look at this tree and you'd say, oh, that's not all there is to it. According to the different seasons and times of year, this tree continues to reveal new things about itself to us. And just like with us, are we open to change like creation? Are we open to experiencing new things? We think we know ourselves so perfectly. I just said that. And yet, as we go through life, we experience COVID and other turning point events, marriages, celebrations, um, elections, uh, different situations that we face ourselves in during the year. Sometimes we think, boy, that surprised me that I thought that way. Oh, that, that is not typical of me. And the openness that we need to have toward continuing to grow is daily. So how do we do that? One way is to listen, to listen to yourself. What's happening within yourself? Are you listening to the nudges of new ways of thinking? Are you listening to the, the little insights that you have, that perhaps your perspective is not as it was even a year ago? You listen to others. You don't have to agree with everything they say. You don't have to buy into what their different perspective is, but you listen to them in the sense that do they have one thing that you could gain from, one thing that you could learn, a new way of seeing, or even just one thing to ponder. And then we listen to the divine. What is God trying to say to us? How is God trying to beckon us to growth, to accept ourselves and understand ourselves in ways that we did not know ourselves before? Change is inevitable. And fall reminds us of how beautiful change can be. So our, our initial response to change often is resistance. Look at that and then listen. What do you hear deep within your heart? What do you hear from others? What do you hear that beckoning call from God to be? And what's the harm, right? <laughs> what's the harm to encounter something new and to be open to how you might change in beautiful ways as well? How you are changing.